Hello friends, welcome to the Inspiration Station. My name is Debbie. If this is your first visit to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll be back for more. If you're a returning viewer or one of my subscribers, thank you so much. Your support means the world to me. This month, January of 2024, I'll be participating in my very first YouTube hop. The hop is organized by Nicole Bingaman, who's also known as Coley Bing here on YouTube. We will be using the Creating with Sketches guide that was put out by Allison Davis of Scrapbook Generations. Each month we will choose a sketch. Everyone will follow the same sketch, but everyone will interpret that their own way. So for example, for January of 2024, we'll be using two page sketch number one in the bundle, and I will be making mine into a single page. So stick around and see what I do with it. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love to hear feedback on what you like and what you didn't. And I hope you'll also consider subscribing. So let's get started. These are some of the photos that I'll be working with today. I have a great group of friends that we get together every weekend just about to scrapbook and we decided that we needed some fun photos for our December daily this year. So we did the awkward JCPenney photo shoot and had a lot of fun with it. These are some of the papers that I've chosen to work with. I unfortunately did lose the footage of me selecting them, but um, the top one is from Ella and Viv, and the rest came from various paper packs, I think from uh, Hobby Lobby. So as you can see, I decided to use a white piece of cardstock as my background, um, and then I rode the struggle bus for a little bit with this ATG dispenser. Um, it's very old. Uh, you can see I, I painted it years ago and put rub-ons on it and tried to make it fancy, but um, it worked great until today. So I ended up moving on, uh, grabbing some double-sided tape and arranging the papers onto my background. Uh, I used the double-stick tape to adhere them. I put one at the bottom and then I moved up to the top so that I could center the other pieces in between those two. I decided that I didn't want them all butting right up against each other, so I did leave, oh, somewhere between an eighth and a quarter of an inch between each pattern. Um, I liked the way that that little break um, helped separate the papers. So you can see that I have matted my photos. Um, all of them I matted on white, and then the collage I matted on black to help it stand out from the various papers in back. Um, I played around with the placement of the smaller photos a little bit. And to the left, you'll see I have a journaling card that um, I really liked the sentiment on, um, but I ended up not liking the way that it looked, the card itself. So I decided that I'm going to make my own title on the Cricut. So after designing the title that I wanted on the Cricut, I cut it out on the three sheets of paper. And you can see here this little trick that I learned from someone on YouTube. I don't remember who it was, but in order to put all these little pieces on, um, to get the glue on them without making a ton of mess, um, I just put a little bit of glue onto my hand and then dip the piece into that and it really helps keep the amount of glue down to a minimum um, so that I can get it on without it all oozing all over the place. Mm. Once I got the title put together um, and had a good idea of where I wanted it, I pulled out this sticker sheet from Photoplay and started looking for some things that I would like to add. I found this um, Polaroid frame style sticker, which I really like the idea of. Um, you can see I used my powder tool um, on it so that I could play around with it and not have it stick to the photo. Um, I really liked the idea of the Polaroid, but when I put it on the page, I didn't like the additional pattern. Um, the music print just kind of blended into the snowflakes below and it just, it, it didn't stand out the way that I wanted it to. So I decided I was going to find another way of doing that. Um, went back to the sticker sheet found a couple of other stickers that I thought would work. Uh, the heart worked out really well. 
again, pulling out that powder tool. You'll see mine's really messy. Um, I didn't like the uh, powder that was in it that came with the, uh, the tool. It was almost like a clay and it was just kind of gritty. I didn't like it. So I dumped it out and put baby powder in. Uh, the only problem with that is it's super fine and it makes a mess. Um, but nothing that can't be cleared up, but just wiping it off. So I really like the way the heart looks. Um, I did go back and I found a poinsettia on that sheet too that um, I eventually ended up on the page. So here is the die that I found to cut out that Polaroid frame I wanted. I tried cutting it in both black and white and decided the black didn't look right. Um, it has the little heart, so I just took a piece of the red cardstock that I used um, for my title and tucked it behind there. And the white didn't really show up really well on the white paper, so I did back that with a thin mat of black. And I like the way that that looked better. Then I went to my stash and I found this sheet of Kaisercraft paper from a long time ago that had foiled words on it. And I cut the strips apart and cut some of the words. So one of the things that I've done in the past, um, I used to do a lot of card classes. I used to teach classes. And so I needed to punch a whole lot of these greenery pieces. And so I used to just punch them as I went along and then save them. And I keep them in this little photo box so that when I need just a little bit of greenery, I have it. I tried to keep them a little bit sorted by color, um, but I do have a ton of them already punched, so that saves me some time looking for paper and looking for the punch and then punching them out. Okay, so I've done a little more playing and I found some other things that I'd like to add. I had a bunch of these snowflakes cut out. These are the Tim Holtz or the Sizzix 3D Impresslets. And I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but they're super detailed. Um, you just missed the paper before you put it in the folder and it gives you these really cool details. I'm trying to see in my camera and I can't tell, but um, that's what they are. So I'm probably gonna add those. I add a little bit more greenery. I did find another sticker on that sticker sheet from Photoplay. That I liked. That's gonna probably end up down here. Moved some of these oop, these phrases around, and I think this is about where it's gonna end. Uh, I might add some enamel dots or some gems, but um, I'm gonna glue all this down and come back when it's done. So I did take this over to my sewing machine and I added some black stitching just along the top and bottom strips of paper. I like the detail that it added. I went uh, in my stash again and I found some enamel dots and some rhinestones and I added those on and you can see them here in the details. I really enjoyed doing this page. Um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing it as well and that you'll join me each month for this hop. I thank you very much for your time and please subscribe or leave a comment for me. Let me know that you enjoyed it. Have a great day.